Okay, we've seen that Dreamweaver can help us make a form, but it can help us make other additions to our website that are tricky and it does a lot of the work for us. What we're going to see is we're going to end up inserting here an SWF file right there under media and we're going to make that file in Flash. So let's get to it. We'll keep it pretty simple with just one animation but it will hopefully um, spark some creativity on your part. So let's go now to Flash and I've done some work ahead of time here and what I've done is I've inserted an image of the Boston skyline and the way that's done is you would just go to import and import it in this case to the library which keeps all the different um, parts of your movie in there. So there's the library right here and you can see I've already imported it. And then what I have too is over here you'll see this is the timeline and this is really where the action occurs. You'll see that I have the Boston layer right here, and if I turn it invisible, you can see it goes away. And I have text. If you look to the upper right there, you'll see it says Visit Boston, and that is there. I created that just with the tools, and um, let's get them up here. You've got the tools, and I'm bringing that over. And all I did here is I created some text off the stage, and I created it off the stage because I wanted to, over time, come into the center of the um, file. So basically, here's Boston, and that is going to remain there. Right now, you can see it's only in frame one. I'm going to say, let's make a 60 uh, frame movie here, and I'm just going to have Boston be there the whole time. So I'm just going to say, insert a frame for that. Now this is all new to you, but basically, you can just see there's really no indication anything's going on there. It's just that it will be there for 60 frames. However, we're going to make the text fly in. So we're going to have Visit Boston come into the middle of the image, um, say at about frame 25. So here's really the trick. In that layer where the text is, I am holding down the control key and I am clicking and I am going to insert a key frame. When you insert a key frame, you're setting up the program to say something's going to change, in this case the location of that text, and the computer will do the work in between. So in frame 25, I am going to go get my arrow key. I want this guy to be able to move it. And I'm taking Visit Boston, and I'm just going to drag it over and say, put it right there. So in frame 1, it's off the stage. In frame 25, it's there. But I want the computer to do the work and make it move all the places in between. That's called a tween. So by clicking now in between the two keyframes indicated by the black circle, I am clicking and I am just going to say create a classic tween. Now when I do that, you'll see an arrow indicating it was done properly. So what happens is this. On frame one, it's going to look like that. It comes zipping on in and it's right there in frame 25 and now I want it to sit there and remain there for the length of the movie, which is 60 frames. So now I'm just going to do what I did for Boston, is in the text layer, I'm clicking right here, and I'm going to insert a frame. And now it is no more tweens. It, it's just going to be there. So now if I hit Command Return, it is going to make that SWIFT file that I talked about. So Command Return, and what you see is this action right here. You can see it's exactly what we created. The text is off the stage. It comes zipping in on frame 25. It hangs to frame 60 and then repeats. That is good enough for now. So now let's go back to Dreamweaver and see how we can put that in. Well here is Dreamweaver and um, my cursor is right here um, below navigation menu with pages and now let's go and put that in there. So naturally that file that we're looking for is needs to be located and it is right there in this case there's the flash file and when you hit command return it creates a swift file so i'm going to say yes put it in there and it's you know saying hey you've got to move this on the server and everything like that so you know just go along and save it in the appropriate place i'll i did this before so i'm going to just say that's okay um you know just click along and make a um, everything allowed inside of Dreamweaver and what you'll see now is there is the file itself in, with that gray box 
You can see it on the design side over here on the right. And then look at all the code that Dreamweaver helps us with. All that highlighted code is what Dreamweaver did for us. You know, and you'll see that it's got a lot of, um, you know, naming going on. And it's also specifying the width here, uh, 1,200 by 600. We could change that. But basically, if you were to bring that file up to your web server, it would then play on the front end for your users. So that is a quick and easy, relatively easy thing to do. But it takes practice since you're new at it. So hopefully just with that one animation, you'll see there's a lot of potential there. And I'll show you some examples too. But that gets us cooking and try to do that, um, creating a website, um, rather creating an animation for your restaurant website.